Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Zaman from Sai Medha Set Coaching Center, Kodi, Hyderabad. Sai Medha Kodi, Hyderabad is providing free educational content every single day in our YouTube channel. So, my dear students, this e video lecture series lo, manam A E A double E civil aspirants koraku e video lecture series ani provide jadam jaru thani. In this video lecture series, we are going to be discussing about the subject fluid mechanics. Topic is fluid properties. Already three videos are in the update. I know this is the video lecture four. In this video, we are going to be discussing. About what are the properties? Mass, specific mass, weight, specific weight, gravity, specific gravity, viscosity, surface tension, capillarity, compressibility, list of all the properties, and in detail, we are going to be discussing about three properties: that is, what's area, what's volume, and what's mass. So, my dear students, those who have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe the channel, press the bell icon to be notified for every updates, and watch the video till the last. And you're going to at the end of this very video, I'm going to be giving you an exciting golden opportunity provided by Space Gate app. Okay, let's start the video now. now let's discuss in this very video lecture, we are going to talk about fluid properties. Okay, what are the fluid properties? Let's see first of all all the names, list of the fluid property that we are going to discuss about. Okay, area, volume. Then we have mass, that is inertia, weight, specific mass, specific mass, mass density and density, specific mass, mass density and density, all are same. Then we have specific weight, which is also called as weight density weight density then we have specific gravity which is also called as relative density relative density then we have flowability viscosity surface tension surface energy surface energy then we have compressibility pressure bulk modulus bulk modulus, shear modulus, Young's modulus, bulk modulus, shear modulus, Young's modulus, vapor pressure, cavitation, okay, sound, sound velocity we just gonna discuss about bulk modulus itself how we are gonna change then in the area session also uh, volume then we have one more property that is called a specific volume then relation in between the properties so these are the properties which we are gonna discuss and then we are gonna concentrate about this viscosity concept then we have many things in the viscosity that is rheological diagram this is one of the important part that we cannot miss rheological diagram so focus on this rheological diagram viscosity part surface tension part surface tension surface energy okay then we have this part vapor pressure and cavitation wherever you see this sort of question don't miss this one because in GATE, ESC, Engineering Services Examination, GATE Examination, TSPSC, APPSC, SSC, JE, Public Service Commission, any of the examination, if question is going to appear from the fluid properties and introduction concept, definitely these are the four properties that we are going to focus more. Viscosity, surface tension, rheological diagram, vapor pressure, cavitation, surface tension. Okay? Basic properties, anyhow, is uh, always uh, the question if uh, you are going to prepare from very uh, standard models then definitely we can concentrate on units 
and basic questions anyhow these properties are going to utilized in uh, uh, throughout all the chapters of fluid mechanics so for area of interest where we need to keep more rheological diagram viscosity surface tension vapor pressure and cavitation so let's get started with each and every property in detail now starting with area okay so the first property that we are going to discuss about is area what is the unit of area how many types of areas are there which you are going to utilize inside the fluid mechanics okay so the first one area area we are going to discuss about a pipe cylinder pipe or cylinder if you see a pipe or cylinder so the first area which is going to be striking in your mind is this one that is called as cross sectional area what is this one called as cross sectional area where this cross sectional area for a cylinder is circle and what is the formula for area of circle now it is area of the cross section is equals to pi r square okay let's say this is diameter now so if you want to write the formula in terms of diameter then the formula is going to become pi by 4 d square pi by 4 d square go through it this is the first formula second one second one is when we see a pipe suppose i am going to cut this pipe from the center like this and open it so it is going to be giving us a sheet okay topmost so when you cut a circle and open it, it is going to be having the perimeter. What is the formula for perimeter going to become? Perimeter is 2 pi r. 2 pi r. What is this one? This is the length. So here, this will be the length. So this entire sheet, what we are able to see here, is called as surface area. What is it called as? A surface area. So the second formula that we are going to talk about is surface area of a cylinder. What is perimeter into length? Perimeter is 2 pi r then L. 2 pi r can also be written as pi d. So the formula is going to become pi d L. Okay, this is the second one that we are going to discuss about. Third one. Third one is, suppose this is a cylinder and I am projecting the lens and diameter. So what are we going to have here? This area. Okay, this area is called as projected area. What is this area called as? projected area diameter projection this is d this is length projection so this is l so the third one that we need to discuss about is projected area so the projected area is ap is equals to usually it is utilized when we are going to talk about pressure so the projected area is d into l d is two times of radius 2 rl so this is the third area for pipe that we are going to discuss about go through it once so what do we have here first one is cross sectional area second one is surface area and third one is projected area cross section area formula is pi by 4 d square pi r square surface area formula is perimeter into length that is 2 pi r l or pi d into l third one is projected area this is utilized when we are going to discuss about the pressure this is for pressure projected area this one is the viscosity effect when entire surface is there inside some water or oil then we are going to discuss about surface area cross sectional area in center material many times when the load is applied at jelly tensile force is there compressive force is there over the cross section area there you will be taking the formula as pi by 4 d square okay so in fluid mechanics where the cross sectional area is getting applied when problem comes we are going to discuss in detail for now three area formula pi by 4 d square 2 pi r l and the last one is projected area that is d into l to r l okay let's go for the next one so in the next one if you talk about area of a sphere okay a sphere a sphere is a ball to which the first one is cross sectional area what is the formula for cross sectional area pi by 4d square or you can say it is pi r square if you take out a sphere and take the surface area of a sphere that is surface area 
surface area a of s is equals to it is 4 pi r square this is the surface area formula and the last one is projection if you project the circle sphere again you will be getting a circle only so the projected area is also going to become the answer as circle pi by 4 d square so the cross section area and projected area we are having same only the surface area is different so we are going to focus upon the second formula that is surface area 4 pi r square okay now we can say the units of area also units units areas are millimeter square centimeter square yard square feet square inch square okay centimeter square mm square meter square feet square for now this is okay okay these are the area formulas here we need to memorize as two important things one is milli milli is called as 10 to the power of minus 3 and uh, next one is centi centi is called as 10 to the power of minus 2 when we have mm square millimeter square how we can write this one as mm into mm if I want to write in terms of meter, milli, milli is 10 to the power of minus 3 meter, milli is 10 to the power of minus 3 meter, 10 power minus 3, 10 power minus 3, it is going to look like 10 to the power of minus 6 meter into meter, meter square. So, what we can write here, 1 millimeter square equals to 10 to the power of minus 6 meter square. Similarly, if you want to write the centimeter square in terms of meter square, centimeter square is equals to centimeter into centimeter. What is the meaning of centi? Centi means 10 to the power of minus 2. So, this is 10 to the power of minus 2 meter, 10 to the power of minus 2 meter, that is 10 to the power of minus 4 meter into meter, meter square. So, 1 centimeter square is equals to 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. Remember this unit conversion because in the examination when unit conversion is there, you should be able to do it perfectly. Because many students memorize the formulas, they know the substitution, but in basic units, they are going to make the mistake. Okay? So, go through it, never repeat the same mistakes in the examination, always do the new mistakes and from the new mistake, try to learn and avoid doing that in the main examination for sure. Okay? So, pause the video and note it down, so that we can go for the next property. So, let me go back once, uh, one more time, this is the properties list of properties that we discussed followed by area we have here in the area section we are having three types of areas that is cross sectional area then we have surface area then we have projected area followed by area of a sphere formulas cross sectional area surface area projected area and that too we discussed about two important units milli centi 10 power minus 3 10 to the power of minus 2 what are the other units of areas mm square, centimeter square, yard square, feet square, inch square, meter square, where 1 feet is equals to 0 0.3048 meters, 1 feet is equals to 0 0.3048 meters, 1 inch is equals to 2.54 centimeters, okay, centi, centi means 10 to the power of minus 2 again, okay, yard is again approximately a meter only 0 0.914, uh, 0 0.9 also we can think, but Anyhow, is not that's not much area of interest in the fluid mechanics. Okay, sure. Go through it. Let's move on to the next property. The next property that we are going to discuss about now is area. Then we have volume. So the next property that we are discussing about is volume. In the volume also, which volume we are going to talk about first? That is cylinder. So if you see a cylinder, this is a pipe having a diameter. Let's say it is equals to D an entire height of the cylinder let us say it is capital H then what is the volume volume formula is area into height area into height so volume of the cylinder is equals to area is pi by 4 d square into height is denoted with capital H similarly if I want to find out the wetted height suppose up to here some liquid is there Some liquid is there for a height let us say it is small h then wetted volume okay some wetted volume formula then what is the formula going to become area will be same pi by 4 d square into small h small h will be the formula what is the unit of volume units mm cube centimeter cube yard cube 
लीटर्स गैलेंस लीटर्स गैलेंस फीट क्यूब इंच क्यूब इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज टी एम सी टी एम सी टी मीन्स वॉट थाउजेंड टी एम सी थाउजेंड मिलियन क्यूबिक फिट सो वन टी एम सी इज इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड इज टेन फॉर थ्री मिलियन इज टेन टू दी पॉर ऑफ सिक्स सी इज क्यूबिक फिट सो फिट क्यूब we know that 1 feet is equals to 0.3048 meters so here in the place of feet cube what we can write 10 to the power of 9 into 0.3048 meter whole cube 0.3 if you is going to substitute it is a 9 9 there is a 27 around 28 you will get the value because it is 0.3048 So what I'm going to write here is 10 to the power of 9 into 0.028 meter cube. Okay, this meter cube can be written in terms of liters. One meter cube equal to thousand liters. One meter cube equal to thousand liters. So what we can write here? 10 to the power of 9 into 28, 28 in terms of liters. So one TMC is equal to approximately what is the value? 28 into 10 to the power of 9 liters. In one TMC, you will be having these many liters of water. Around approximate value, we are going to write here: 28 into 10 to the power of 9 liters. Go through it. So now we know about the next property, that is volume. What are the units of volume? Meter cube, mm cube, yard cube, gallons, liters. Important one is one meter cube is thousand liters. Then one liter is equals to. This is the conversion which we will be seeing in the problematic part: 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube. Okay. Go through it. Chalo. try to memorize so that we can go for the next slide chalo pause the video and note it down let's go for the next one after the completion of area volume the next property that we are going to discuss about is mass okay next property is mass mass is usually taken as quantity of matter but here we going to memorize this mass as what a inertia linear inertia okay when a body is need to be moved from a point a to point b from point a to point b we need to apply what a force okay force is going to be having a formula m into a by the euler's equation so force is overcoming what a inertia force is overcoming the inertia of a body so inertia linear inertia resistance resistance offered by a body resistance offered by a body to continue to continue to remain in its state in its state if it is rest it is going to be under the rest condition if it is in motion it will be there in the some uniform velocity motion unless external agency is applied what is external agency we are applying here force so force is trying to overcome what the uh, inertia of the body and move the body under linear acceleration so for now mass what we are going to think about the mass mass is a inertia that is a resistance offered by a body to continue to remain in its state so here the important thing about the mass is units of mass units mass unit is uh, grams kilograms okay you can say in grams kilograms pounds pound is denoted with lb libra where 1 kg is equals to 1000 grams okay 1 pound is equals to around 452 453 grams okay 0.456 kg so 456 some 58 some textbook gives i'll be writing as 0.456 kg okay approximate value 1 kg is equals to around 2.2 pounds okay so these are the units that we are going to focus about 453 grams is also correct 56 is also correct approximate value okay go through it once so now we know about area volume and mass okay go through it once pause the video and note it down 
Congratulations guys, you have made it so far. This video is entire to watch this video. Please like, jayandhi, share and subscribe our channel guys. And sir, what is the golden opportunity that is provided by Sai Medha? Sai Medha is starting AAAE Civil Valaki New Bachelor. We will start this video and conducting our talent test examination. Talent test examination low. Syllabus is what? The fluid properties. This is fluid properties. On the 11th of February, you are going to be writing the examination sharp at 10 o'clock in the Sai Medha premises those who are going to be attempting the test guys my dear student based on your marks you'll be getting the maximum concessions 85 percentage 87 89 90 95 up to 100 percentage concessions and they provide jadam jarutari free educational content uh, update out on the day like share and subscribe our youtube channel make a doubt on us wanna Scrolling on the mobile numbers key, contact Chandy and attempt the talent test examination without fail. Thank you very much guys with one more fresh video, new educational content, free content in our YouTube channel. I'll come back one more time. Since then, until then, keep learning with Sai Mida YouTube channel.